so dear students in your uh, previous section we have seen the risk and risk design philosophy and in today's section we will see the arm design philosophy and instruction set for arm so arm design philosophy is basically based on the risk machines now first first the question is what is arm so arm is nothing but advanced risk machines which are based on the risk factor so that's why these are the uh, evolution of risk uh, machines that's why it is called as arm that is advanced risk machine so there are number of physical features that have driven for arm processor design for arm processor design there are various physical features that are considered portable embedded system require some form of battery power now as we have seen portability is the main function or main feature of embedded system the portable embedded system requires some form of battery power that is the essential thing high core density is also another major requirement as we have said that uh, the risk uh, provides the powerful and simple instructions as well as the code is consistent and powerful and clean so the high core density is the major requirement in arm whenever the arm designing has been done because uh, the main aim is it is having the simple instruction set but it is having that much powerful instruction set for executing the task that's why the high code density is the another major requirement when the arm design philosophy has been considered now the reduce the area of die taken up by the embedded processor it reduces the area of die that is required or taken by the embedded processor so the memory space is uh, so the area of die has been reduced arm has incorporated hardware debug technology within the processor so hardware debug technology is not uh, done externally but because of using arm the hardware debug technology is incorporated within the processor and that's why arm is useful for incorporating the hardware debug technology within the processor arm core is not a pure risk architecture because of the constraints of its primary application means arm core is not a pure risk architecture yes because we have already seen it is the advanced version of the risk machines so it is not the pure risk architecture because of the constraints of this primary application as we want to uh, do the task or do the uh, particular execution of the system uh, in such a way that it should provide the output with the hard time constraint so arm core is not a pure risk architecture and the constraints of its primary application has not considered for the arm design philosophy so the instruction set for the embedded system the instruction uh, set of arm differs from pure risk definition in the several ways that make the arm instruction set suitable for the embedded applications the arm instruction set is different from the pure risk uh, instruction set and because it is uh, used for the various embedded applications as variable cycle execution for instructions in line barrel shifter thumb 16 bit instruction set conditional execution and enhanced instructions so the instruction set for embedded system is different when the arm is used it is not as pure as the risk is having so the arm uh, instruction set is divided into two part mainly the arm uh, instruction set is divided into two parts that is arm state instruction set and set and thumb state instruction set so the arm state instruction set is of 32 bit and the thumb set instruction set is of 16 bit arm is basically divided arm is basically divided into two instruction sets first one is arm first one is arm state instruction set whereas the second one is thumb state instruction set so these are the two instruction sets uh, first one is of 32 bit and second one is of 16 bit so the features are three address data processing instruction can be used or can be done by using this arm instruction sets conditional execution of each instruction is dead 
load store and load store multiple instructions can be used single cycle execution of all instruction is possible that all instructions can be executed within one cycle instruction set extension through coprocessor can be possible so the classes of instructions are data processing branch load store software interrupt program status register instruction and coprocessor so in data processing class of instruction move arithmetic logical compare operations are used then in branch class of instruction it calls the subroutine and divert the sequential execution in load store class of instruction it transfers data between memory and register and in multiple load store it transfer between the multiple register and memory in a single instruction then the next is software interrupt when executed the mode changes to supervisor mode when it is considered to program status register instruction it read write the data from cpsr that is current program status registers and the last one is coprocessor so it supports 16 bit coprocessor which contains pipeline register bank etc the thumb state is of 16 bit instruction in compressed form that is in the thumb state now it has been said that in line barrel shifter for more complex instructions so barrel shifter is basically whenever the one operand to alu is route we want to route the one operand to alu then it can be possible through barrel shifter so thus the operand can be modified before we want to use it and the barrel shifter is responsible for fast multiplication and complex data structure that is nothing but arm design philosophy the part that is considered wherever whenever the arm has been designed and the instruction set that are used for arm in the embedded system thank you